Welcome back, bros. Today, we're gonna be fixing this cat. Nah, nah, we're not gonna be doing that. I'm just joking. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at this PlayStation 4 wired controller that I got as a gift. And I'm gonna be showing you how to utilize it on your computer to play any game. See, this controller has a feature, a touchpad. You see the Play logo? But because of that, we cannot use it with games that were made before the era of touchpads on controllers. If we try to map the game using this controller, we run into the issue. Simply, every button gets mapped as a touchpad. Therefore, we're gonna be utilizing a program to hide this specific controller, create a new virtual one that's gonna be using our original controller as a backbone, and we're gonna be removing the touchpad option essentially by doing that. So, if you're ready, let's get to it. First, we start by connecting our controller to the computer. You will see a notification that tells you that your device is ready to be used. If you don't see this notification or you see an error that tells you the device is not installed properly, you will need to find the drivers for your controller online and install them. Or check your packaging to see if a disk came bundled with your controller. Usually that disk has the drivers. Really quickly, I am going to open up Device Manager to check if everything has been installed correctly. I see no yellow markers and under sound video and game controllers there is PlayStation 4 fun controller. But if I open up the game and try to map the controls, as you can see every single control is same and gets mapped automatically. That's because once again this controller is not compatible with this game because of its touchpad. That's what's being mapped at this moment. Let me open up my favorite search engine and look for DS4 Windows. One thing you should know is that there are two versions available, the older and newer version. The newer version is from user called Ryochan7 and it's available on this particular website. You can also check the link in the description for more information. Also, this program is available on GitHub as a repository so you can check either that particular site or this repository. I am going to click the download button to download this program. Upon download completion, I extract the archive and I open up the folder. Inside the folder there is DS4 Windows EXE. If I try to run it, I need to actually install Net50 Runtime for desktop apps. Because I do not have it currently installed, I am going to download it and install it. After installation is complete, I can open up the program once again. This time I am asked where do I want to install the program. I choose Program Folder. Then the program opens up and I am greeted with Steps in and the Instructional window. First I click on Step 1 to install this driver. Once the driver has been installed, I skip steps 2 and 3 because those do not apply to me. Then I go to step 4. Even though it is optional, for me, it's a must. So I install hide driver. After this driver has been installed, it is recommended to restart your computer, which is what I am going to do. After the computer has been restarted, I go back to the folder and run the application once again. This time, on the list of the program, I can see my controller, PlayStation 4 Fun. And also I get a notification, Virtual Xbox 360 controller has been installed, as a result of running DS4 Windows. Clicking on Edit button allows me to configure the controller and all the buttons, but I will not go into detail about how to do this as plenty of documentation is already available on the internet. If needed, I will make a full video tutorial on how to set up your controller in this program. So let us cancel from controller configuration. And I also get a notification that HID compliant game controller is set up and ready. I click on the settings and I tick the box that says hide DS4 controller.
Let's open up our USB game controllers panel and you'll see that only one controller is now available on the list. But look what happens if I untick and then tick this box again. PS4 fun controller disappears. PS4 fun controller is the actual physical controller I have and the Xbox 360 is the emulated controller. Going back to the controller configuration panel, let's click on other tab. Under virtual controller settings, you'll see that we have emulated controller set as Xbox 360 and we can also choose DualShock 4. At the moment you don't actually have to change anything here, I just wanted to show you where this particular setting is located. Going back to the game, as you can see this time I am able to map all the controls as I want them to, and I do not get X rotation mapping anymore. So in conclusion, success. In conclusion of this video, I would like to demonstrate that I am fully able to move through the game as I want to with all the freedom and the controller is working as intended. To summarize the video, once the controller has been plugged in and all the necessary drivers have been installed correctly, it is necessary to install the S4 Windows program and set it up so it hides your original controller and in its place it installs the virtual controller, whether it's an Xbox 360 or DualShock 4, whichever suits you or the game that you are playing. For those of you looking for more information, all the download links and much more, please check out the link in the description that's going to take you to my website, which has all the links and everything, all the information listed in one place. As a final note, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, consider rating, subscribing, leave me your comments, and that's it. I will see you guys in future videos. Priest, signing out.